The Spectrum Analyzer mode will offer you the chance of using the analyzer as a pure spectrum analyzer, covering from 5 MHz to 6 GHz. While in this mode, dragging our finger up or down over the spectrum trace will modify the reference level in the vertical axis. When we drag it left or right, we move accordingly along the frequency band. To modify the span, you can pinch to zoom, that is, touch with two fingers simultaneously on the touch screen and move them apart to zoom in or together to zoom out. Below the spectrum trace you can find, from left to right, the starting tuning frequency, center frequency and end tuning frequency on screen. Below that we find five buttons for adjustment of several aspects of the spectrum analyzer. Tuning frequency, span selected, resolution bandwidth used, amplitude which refers to the reference level selected and marker configuration. Pressing on any of these five buttons will unfold the tuning menu from the left side of the screen with a focus on the specific tuning parameter chosen. This menu provides the following spectrum analysis setup options from top to bottom. The center frequency, start and stop frequencies shown on the screen, which in turn will modify the span accordingly. Alternatively, you can input the span directly, which will modify the start and end frequencies accordingly. Below you can input the reference level and attenuator level, which must be always set up manually in this spectrum analyzer mode. In the next field, we can assign the resolution bandwidth filter value from 2 kHz up to 1 MHz. We can activate as well as many as 4 markers. Each of them can be enabled or disabled independently, and you can choose whether they work as standard markers or delta markers. Right below, on the same menu, we can tune their frequency and decide, for delta markers, which marker they are referenced to. Three different detector types can be selected for the trace acquisition RMS, positive peak and negative peak. Finally, at the bottom we have the option of displaying on screen as many as four additional saved traces, as well as the option of activating the max hold and min hold traces. Now let's see an additional feature that we can access to by dragging the menu from the right side of the screen into the center. Channel power. Here, after you choose the frequency to tune and the channel bandwidth, if you drag your finger over the screen, the tuning changes but the bandwidth, shown between the two white lines, is held and centered letting you take the channel power measurement while keeping the focus on that desired bandwidth. Finally, if we press on the cog wheel on the top right corner, we will get access to two more options related to the display of the spectrum analyzer. 
Line mode will change how the spectrum trace is displayed. DB per division will allow you to define the number of DBs per vertical division.